Hey you guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video showing you hidden features in Firefox. So of course Firefox has been around for a while, and they've added lots of little, you know, Easter eggs and whatnot, so let's go ahead and just take a look at some of them. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your uh, address bar and type in about, colon, about. And indeed that link will change depending on which page I show, but this one is just a list of all the different pages that you have for Firefox. So there are a bunch of them, so I will show you guys some of my favorites, uh, but there are also some kind of cool Easter eggs. So for example, there's about Mozilla, uh, there's about robots, which kind of tells you a little bit about robots, which is <laughs> pretty neat. Uh, but you guys can definitely take a look at this. But let's just go ahead and show you guys some of the more interesting ones. So the first one is going to be about config. Now if you guys have been using Firefox for any length of time, more than likely you've pulled this up. This is able to customize Firefox to a ridiculous level. And I want to be very clear though, this is not something that you can just go in here and just you know start editing and you know messing around with it. You can definitely really crash Firefox. However, if you know what you're doing, if you, you know you looked up a specific tweak or whatnot, generally you're going to use it in about config. So you guys can see here there are just tons and tons of different things. But let's say for example I need to come over here, I could edit it. Uh, you know, maybe you can change the time so that something takes to load. There's a bunch of bunch of bunch of different things that you can do so about config is probably one of the best ways to customize the browser how you like another great thing is about crashes uh, now what this is is obviously I don't have any crash reports with Firefox is, you know it's, it doesn't crash all that often but if you've had any crash reports or you know have any major issues it will list all the different crash reports you can kind of get a little information on it it's very helpful if you you know you're having a problem you can kind of help diagnose it Another thing is going to be permissions manager. Uh, so what this allows you to do is take a look at your permissions for individual websites or indeed all sites. So it says if you want to allow passwords to be stored, so you know if you want your login information, you can share, share your location, cookies, pop-up windows, and offline storage. So let's say for example I want to always allow pop-up windows on a particular site, I can do that here. Or indeed you can just do it globally with all sites. So another really little helpful thing if you use Firefox. Now another thing is about memory. Now this is similar to what you'll be able to find in Google Chrome. Uh, it's not quite as pretty, but what you can see here is what's taking up all your RAM. So if you're having some issues with Firefox, if it's you know being slow, laggy, what have you, you can take a look and see what's going on here. So let's just take for example, I found some, one of these things that showed you know it had like four gigabytes of RAM uh, used, or you know it's just something ridiculous. We can kind of get a good idea of what's going on. And perhaps if you can, you know, understand, like some of these are kind of a little hard, but you know, see, we can see stateofjailbreak.com. So open up in one of the tabs. You know, you want to see that? We can close it and see if that helps anything. So just a little good idea of seeing how much RAM Firefox is using. And last but not least, we have about plugins. Now this is basically very simple, as the name implies. It allows you to take a look at any plugins that are installed and used by Firefox. So we can see, you know, on live game client, Flash, Silverlight, Java. Uh, QuickTime, and what this allows you to do is take a look at the version, what kind of files are here. Uh, now, there's not a whole lot you can do with it, but it's just kind of nice to be able to see what plugins are enabled. Uh, for example, if you ever see something that you don't want, so sometimes this is kind of rare, but it's happened to me before. If you have some kind of program that actually installed a plugin that you don't want, uh, and, and it's, it's happened a couple times, you can actually look here uh, and see if there's anything that you don't like or don't want or whatever, and see what, exactly what is running in Firefox. Anyway, that's going to be about it. If you guys want to see a video going over hidden features in Google Chrome, feel free to hit the annotation on screen right now. But otherwise, if you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, be sure to subscribe.